Someone suggested the other day that maybe I should use natural light. So here is natural light. Poppy recently released a song called Voicemail. Here's a clip. Running, I'm running, I'm running. I'll talk more about the song a little bit later, but I realised that there was in fact marketing for it. Sneaky marketing at that, but marketing it nevertheless. And you may not have even realised. The title voicemail gives it away a little bit. Yes, voicemail. Remember how they were implemented by Poppy for seemingly no reason? In the video calling Poppy, I spoke about how she was asking people to ring a number and leave messages. These are also known as voicemails. So she got people to leave voicemails, it's a marketing strategy for a song called Voicemail. But if you have heard the song, or even just the bit I played at the start, you'd know that the messages people were leaving have nothing to do with the song. Although she did post a photo of an answering machine on her Instagram stories some days prior to release. Of course, if someone were to ask for calls and leave messages, and then has a song that comes out called Voicemail, you'd expect them to be connected, but they aren't. Despite all of this, the song is actually really well produced, and I like how the style seamlessly interchanges. But I'm not too keen on hearing Poppy say, Poppy is your mommy. Poppy is your mommy. That lyric and another one play into the history of certain references made in poppy songs, including Computer Boy and X. But this does beg the question, if they aren't used for the new song, then what on earth are the voicemails for? Well, once again, it is theory time. I feel like the recordings will be sorted through and used in the live stream, but in a way that makes it come across as if poppy is talking to them in some regard. This has been done before with seemingly pre-recorded messages and also in real time, with her calling people who have got the VIP package for tour or who were ready for salvation. I assume that off the back of this, they now have a larger collection of phone numbers and data to pick and choose from which was a worry in the Computer Boy days, although that was in fact run by Super Deluxe, so maybe our safety shouldn't be feared. This song was also released very close to the resumption of her tour. Let me know what you thought of the song in the comments below. Like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to become a Marzian. I didn't talk about the music video because it's very simple, although the Black Eyes scene in the poster for A Jester's Tale are present, but it really is a good track.